Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Just a game here. Welcome back to Heavy Rain. All right, let's go. <laughs> that was my cat, that wasn't me. My cat was making that noise. Mm. Still my cat. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Who the fuck is she? What was that? Oh, sit down. Don't need that, do I? It's a nice apartment, I'm gonna lie. this What is she doing? She just put a cup in the fucking... Nah... Oh, it's water! Is that how she warms up the coffee? Right. If I'm being honest, never in my life I have seen anyone do that. Warming up the coffee by putting it in the microwave. Can't say that I have seen it before. Oh, of course. Come on. I probably need to get dressed. Even though I wouldn't mind walking around like this, it's fine. Can I get dressed? I can't. Okay. What is going on? Really? What was the point of that then? Oh, there's actually someone in here? What? Damn, that ass. Okay. Um. Now what the fuck am I doing? Oh, why do I always forget this? That I can do this. Okay, I need pills. Bro, I hate it when the camera switches the control switch as well. I 
knew it. There is someone in that fucking apartment. Yeah, well, that is... Where can I get the pills? I need those pills. Can I get the pills? Check that door then. No, 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 don't need that. Mm, okay, this is probably where the pills are. Um, bro, this is a weird bathroom, but it looks sick as well. Shower. Okay. Let's see. Um, where's the shower? That's toilet. Um. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, bro. She has like a what? confused what is going on uh um okay, of course they're not gonna uh that's bs no 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 just oh okay never mind <laughs> now i'm gonna have to censor that <laughs> fuck Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Awesome. No, this is sick. Only shame is that I have to censor it. Damn, son. And now we can just walk away. We don't need that. What else do you need? Insomnia. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. You sure you can't sleep? Okay, either she's tripping or there's somebody there's somebody in the house okay but i don't think that she means i don't think she means anything bad she just wanted some food It 
looked like she. That's why I said she. Because the, that gr ground, uh, like the growl that she made, sounded sounded like a woman. Okay, yeah. You see, now this is where you. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. Oh, you only realize that now. On the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. It took it. Of course she did. Can't see shit, dog. And she locked it. Okay, that's not a girl. Why is someone here? Wait, is there another one? How did he get behind me? Wait, are there two of them? I don't... I'm so confused. What the... Uh... Oh, there are two of them. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Dude! Uh, dude, I did it twice! What the fuck was that? Can someone explain? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. Okay, there was nothing I could do. How is she still alive? Okay, so what do you do now? I mean... There's a... All of that! All of that! For it just to be a dream. I... Okay. Okay, we're going back to Ethan. I still don't know the woman's name. What the fuck was that and what the fuck? There was... So there is four characters that I can control. Wednesday. I'm pretty sure that Grace won't allow me to have Sean Owa ever again if we get him back. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but... 
children have never been. Is that a riddle? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. What was the locker number? Don't tell me you're gonna pass out again, dude. We just got here. Don't tell me you're gonna black out. Okay. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Oh. He has this phobia now of crowds, I guess. I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Chill, dog. It's just a panic attack. You can breathe. It just feels like you can't, but you can. Fuck is gone. Dude. Dad! Are we finally experiencing his blackout? Dad, where are you? Jason! Dad! Jason! I can't touch anyone. I just fall into the Okay, actually this is gonna be fun. Let's go. <laughs> Jason! Oh my gosh. Dad. Jason! Jason! Dad. It's so weird that I can't control the camera. Jason! There he is. Dad. And he's completely different place or oh no. I think he just fully experienced his like this time it wasn't a blackout, he remembers what happened, but I guess he finally experienced, like... Luggage lockers! Oh, I made it, see? Oh, Jason helped him.
Okay. Line 18, box number 3. 1803. Line 18. Line 18. Line 18. There we go. Box, box three. I see, dude. Uh, you mind? I'm confused. Like, uh, that dude in the shop, he said that he, he only got a locker number and uh, that box that was in the locker only after his son was killed. But why did Ethan get the box already? Okay. I was gonna say, why are we switching from Ethan to Ethan? <laughs> that was. Uh, let's just open it. Uh, I should. Let's just open the box. Let's open it, dog. Are you prepared to show your courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot, Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Um, okay. So that's how they drown. So it is origami killer. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. 
Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. See? Look at this glitch. I'm go look, I'm moving up and it doesn't work. And because of that, I uh, fuck up the quick events when I have to do that move. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Wow. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God fearing idiot. Waiting for the end Dude, of the world. I can see that there's something there. Why is he like reaching out of it? Park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted.
it came out and now I'm pressing W. Look, now it works, but last time he just walked back in the fucking room. It's so weird, the controls sometimes. He does need a lot of medicine. I wonder why. That's where he sleeps. By candlelight. And that seems safe. What? What you got? Nothing exactly. Like I said, we wasted our time coming here. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Oh. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We Don't know who talks to you. Try to. to. Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't Blake, talk about what it. What are you doing? You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned That's him. That's enough! Isn't that Leave right? him alone! No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ugh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Oh. 
hands on your head. Turn around. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. I panicked. It's only a crucifix. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. CBA. This is, but that's bullshit, dude. How was I supposed to know? I was this whole time. I was trying to call him down, like, and then the game, like. When there was multiple options, of course I'm not gonna shoot him. But they gave me one option to press C, and of course I did. Because, you know, time event. Fuck, that's such a bullshit. And why shoot in the head? You could have just shot him in the leg or something, or arm. Just anything besides fucking head. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Can you just kick the door in? CBA. Am I gonna get into another fight? Cause this dude seems like all he does is fight. This is balls. Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. Use your fucking leg, moron. Oh, shit. Mrs. Balls! Mrs. Balls, can you hear me? STDs for the win, yay. Wake up! Wake up! Yeah, it looks like she can wake up, dog. She totally didn't cut her veins. What? Are you gonna put her in bed to die? What's going on? Why? Okay, if you stop the bleeding, then maybe it is a good idea to put her. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Leave a suicidal person alone. Wash your goddamn hands. STDs for the win, yeah. Let's see. I need this. And this? Basically everything. <laughs> it's 
Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Oh, now you're thinking about your baby, yeah? Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I mean, how hard it can be? I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Good gotcha. to know. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna start, uh, stop this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And as I come back, we're just gonna continue to play this game. So yeah, anyways, see ya.